Hi class, this is Mrs. Vassell here to help you work on your Your Turn practice book page from Wonders. And we are, we're working, I, we just finished listening to the story, Tiki Tiki Timbo. So you hit open up your books to page 13, it's page 13 here. And uh, we're going to work on this page together. And it has to do with our story that you listened to earlier. So um, let's, before we get started, something I want you to really get used to doing at the beginning of every worksheet you do is to write your name on the top, your neatest writing. Because when you come back to class, I'm going to have a lot of papers and you don't want to get your paper mixed up with your neighbors. So on the very top, you're going to write your name on the line up here. So I'm going to write my name. My name is Mrs. Bissot. You are not going to write Mrs. Bissot. You're going to write your name. So I'm going to write Mrs. Bissot. And the only letters that had a capital in my name were the ones that are in the beginning. So I have two. It says Mrs. Bissot. So that's why those two had capital. You should only have one capital letter, and it should be the first letter in your name. The rest should be lowercase, so don't forget that. Okay, so the next thing we do when we have a worksheet is we read the directions so that we know what we're going to do. So it says, um, name the characters in the boxes, then draw another character from the story. And then it says, circle your favorite character of all the characters. Okay, so... Let's take a look. Um, who is this character here? This lady. That was the mom. This was the mom in the story. The mother of the two boys. And then this character here. Who is this character? This was one of the, bro the brothers. That was Chen. Okay. Now I'm going to write them down. You don't have to write them down because... The worksheet says for you to just say what their names are, but I'm going to write them down. If you want to, you can write them too, but you don't have to. So I'm going to write right here, M O M, mom. And I'm gonna put a little arrow. Mom, that was the mom in the story. And this was Chen. And Chen starts with a capital C. So it's his name. So remember we said at the beginning of the names, you always make a capital letter. So capital um, C, and then I'm going to make the rest lowercase. The C and an H. Ch e. And that's Chen. So we have the characters here, mom and Chen. And characters means um, who the story was about. So the story had uh, was about mom was in every um, page of the story, and so was Chen. And... We need a third character. Hmm, who can we pick? There were two other main characters in our story. Two other characters that were very important in the story. Uh, the other important character was Tiki Tiki Tembo. Because remember, that was the other brother that fell in the well. And the fourth character that was also very important and was kind of the hero in our story too, one of the heroes, was the house painter. Remember, he's the one that came to the rescue both times when both boys fell in. So we could draw either one, but I think I'm going to pick for this drawing, Tiki Tiki Tembo, since they named the whole story after him. So let's draw Tiki Tiki Tembo. And we're gonna look at the picture. So here he is right here. He's right here and he's also back there. So let's draw him together. Okay, so let me fix this here. Okay, and let's start by drawing. Let's draw a big circle for his head. Let's draw a circle. Then let's draw his ears on the side. One ear on this side. One ear on this side. Now I'm looking at his picture, and he had his hair to the side a little bit. Kind of went like this to the side. And then you could see it kind of a little bit on this side like this. And he had a long ponytail in the back. So we'll kind of draw it back here like this so you can see it a, a little bit behind him. A little bit of a ponytail. Good long hair. Now let's draw his eyebrows. So these are eyebrows. He had two eyebrows. 
One, two. Now let's draw his eyes. So let's make some ovals. And ovals are like a stretched out circle. His eyes are like an oval shape. Now that looks creepy until we add the middle. There you go. Let's add the circles in the middle. Okay. He needs a nose. So we'll slide down and back. And a mouth. Okay. Let's give him a neck. Now, if you had more space, you could kind of make his, you could kind of make, like, show his uh, shoulders. Okay, there's Tiki Tiki Tumbo. And I'm going to write it down so that I remember. You don't have to write it down as long as you're able to tell someone what these are. So you, as long as you could say, this is the mom, this is Chen, and this is Tiki Tiki Tembo. So I'm going to write Tiki Tiki Tembo with the capital T, and then the rest will be lowercase. Tiki, two case. And then he had, remember, he had three names, Tiki Tiki Tembo. And then Tiki again. So a capital letter, because that was his name, his second name, and his third name also had a capital T, Tembo. You don't have to write this. This is a lot of writing. I just wrote it for fun. And remember, his actually his real name in the beginning of the story was even longer. At the beginning of the story, his name was Tiki Tiki Tembo Nosa Rembo. Mary Berry, Tip Top, Silly Billy, Flip Flop, Bush Berry, Bembo. That was so long. I'm glad his parents decided to make it shorter. Um, now, the last thing it asks for you to do in the story is to circle which one your favorite character was in the story. So you don't have to circle the one that's my favorite. I want you to circle the one that was your favorite here. So my favorite, I think, was Chen. You want to know why? I picked Chen because he worked so hard to try to save his brother, trying to say his very, very long name. And he was very frustrated. Remember, he was really upset when he couldn't say his name and he was out of breath. And everyone was like, what are you trying to say? And I really like him because he did not give up. He didn't give up. And he just kept trying so that he could help his brother, uh, even though he had that really, really long name. So I'm circling Chen for that reason. You circle whichever character you like and tell someone why you circled that one. Why did you pick that one? It doesn't have to be the same as mine. And if you wanted to, if you're really, really brave and think you could draw by yourself, you could um, also, if you wanted to draw uh, the house painter, if the house painter was your favorite, you could do that. Um, he was um, over here in the picture. And you could go back and look at him from our story too. But friends, you did an amazing job. Keep working hard. Keep listening to the stories, and um, I will see you again for the next story. Bye.